Interval training can be a really time efficient strategy to help improve your performance on the bike. So whether or not those are sprint intervals, VO2 max intervals, threshold intervals, really any type of interval program can go a long ways at improving your performance on the bike. So there's a recent book that just came out called The One Minute Workout based on the research of Canadian researcher Martin Gabala. And it does a great job of illustrating how with even as little as 10 minutes a day, you can execute intervals that effectively will improve your performance. So the downside to intervals is, is that they're really mentally demanding. And because of this, my recommendation is to limit your interval workouts to maybe just two times a week. Um, so an example might be on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you spend time doing structured interval work. And then the rest of the time you spend on the bike maybe is in an unstructured fashion where you're just doing a, an easy ride with a friend or you're doing a group ride with friends. And I think that strikes a good compromise between the demanding nature of interval work and also um, having plenty of time to just simply enjoy the bike. And I think that'll give you the best chance uh, to be able to train sustainably into the future. And as you gain more experience, then you could, you could increase the number of interval workouts to maybe three times a week um, as you continue to get fitter and stronger.